everyone. Yes, it's me, Tyler the Smash speaking again. You might be wondering, where have I been recently? Well, you see, since my previous video, where I traveled back to my hometown, I just started secondary school. Therefore, there was a lot more school work that had to be done compared to primary school. Therefore, I did not have much time to do videos in the weekends. It's also partly because my parents take me to mall or the other places. And even if I had the time at home, I did not have the necessary materials, such as a new wiper, which is behind me right now, to create this video. Yeah, I could have done other videos, but this is the video that I plan to do next. In this video, I will be taking a break from the Guru Geometry series and solve a problem from my first OSN SM Fair Pass paper from 2011. What is OSN, you may ask? OSN for the SM Fair category, which is for secondary students like me, is a math competition lasting for two days. Each day, there are five questions to be solved within 90 minutes. However, the questions are super difficult to solve and conquer. I believe that the difficulty is similar to competitions like Sailmore and Sassamore, but for high school students, or even harder. <clears throat> so I'm talking about this because I need to get a gold medal in the OSN SM Fair, then I can go to OSN SMR early, by the way, SMR means high school, and then also get a gold medal in that competition, and then get a pass to the IMO, the International Math Olympiad, which is the biggest and most prestigious math competition. As I know, all I have to do is get a medal and then I get a pass to any university I want, including the most prestigious ones. Today I'll be solving a problem from one of the past papers from 2011, which was quite easy for me. Here's the question. Numbers 1 to 10 are arranged in a pentagon such that the sums of the numbers along each side are the same. There are many ways of doing this. The bottom picture shows one solution, over here. In this case, the sum of the numbers along each side equals 16. 1 plus 10 plus 5, 16. 5 plus 2 plus 9, 16. 9 plus 4 plus 3, 16. 3 plus 6 plus 7, 16. 7 plus 8 plus 1, 16. Find the minimum and maximum values of the sum of the three numbers along each side. To solve this problem, the first thing that we have to do is to draw a pentagon again and we can put some blanks where we can fill in the numbers again later once we find the solutions. So, each combination will always use all 10 numbers so therefore the sum of all the numbers in the pentagon is always 1 plus 2 plus all the way to 10. So there's a formula we can use which is 1 plus 2 plus all the way to x equals x multiplied by x plus 1 divided by 2. Wait, let me readjust this. It's fine. So therefore, the sum all the way to 10 must be equal to 10 multiplied by 11 divided by 2. So therefore, that's 5 times 11, which equals 55. Okay, so now let's uh, so so now let's just sketch out each of the sides, the rectangles for each of the sides. <coughs> yeah, as you can see, each shape can consists of the three numbers of each side. So so as you can see here, the sum of five of those rectangles. Will be will be this 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 and this all summed together, which is the previous sum here, fifty five, plus <coughs> plus one one extra of this 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 and this. Let's just call this a plus b plus c plus d plus e for convenience sake. So therefore, five of these rectangles must be equal to fifty five plus. A plus B plus C plus D plus E. So we want to find the minimum and maximum values of this. So let's start with the minimum value. To find the minimum value of one of these rectangles, we also have to find out the minimum value of A plus B plus C plus D plus E, 
which is just the minimum of 5 numbers chosen from 1 to 10. Therefore, the minimum of a plus b plus c plus d must equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, which equals to 15. Therefore, 5 of the rectangle is equal to 70, and 1 rectangle, which is the sum of the numbers along the side, wait, let me put minimum here, is equal to 14. So now let's check if this works by trying to get an example. So as we have seen before, a plus b plus c plus d plus e is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and 5. So those five numbers are the corners. <coughs> so how are we going to put 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in the edges? Here. So yes, just 14 is the minimum sum for the some for the numbers along the side. So we got the minimum. Now let's get the maximum. So just so let's use some similar logic here. For the maximum of the rectangle, we also have to find the maximum of a plus b plus c plus d plus e. And again, the maximum of a plus b plus c plus d plus e is the maximum sum of 5 numbers chosen from 1 to 10, which has to be equal to 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10, 16, 32, and that is 40. So 5 of the rectangle is the maximum of 95, and the maximum value of a rectangle is equal to 19. In case you can't see, I'm going to write here. Yep, so let's try to find an example which satisfies this. So it's a bit similar here, but the corners must have <clears throat> must have numbers 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we're going to put 10 here. Wait, that's too small. Let me try it. Ten, let me try to put 10 and 8. That's, that's the only way we can squeeze 1 in here. 5. And this should be 6. Just trying to... Yeah, I'm just trying to make it similar to the first example. Just to make it a little bit quick so I don't waste your time. Yep, so let's check. 19, 19, 19, 19, and 19. So yes, this works. So therefore, the minimum of... The sum of one of the one of the lines, is, I mean sides, is fourteen, and the maximum sum is nineteen. Just in case you missed something, or maybe I did. So seventy here, it comes from fifty-five plus fifteen, right? And then this, of course, is equal to seventy divided by five. And the ninety-five, it comes from. 55 plus 40, and this is 95 divided by 5. So that's where the calculations came from. This is the end of my video solving this problem. Sorry for the long break in my channel, but I hope that you didn't forget about me and you found this video interesting overall. Of course, remember to leave a like in the video if you enjoyed, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and leave a comment down below if you have any feedback or video ideas for me. After all, any support from you guys will be well appreciated by me and will motivate me to keep going with the channel. See you next time. Bye!